It is the family business, the pride of the Gonzalez Baeza family, a 16 room hotel in San Salvador. Carolina and her mother Teresa built this place 10 years ago. They put everything they had into it. Then, in 2008, they were on the verge of losing it all. We were very scared. The results were very bad, and we were consuming a lot of energy. The bills were extremely high for a small hotel. They tried the obvious, switching to energy-efficient light bulbs and turning off air conditioners when the rooms were empty. But the bills were still overwhelming. It turns out dozens of small hotels in Central America, many of them run by women just like Carolina, are also struggling with runaway energy costs. So USAID, the U.S. Agency for International Development, decided to help. By helping a small businesses in developing countries, we are creating job opportunities and helping to reduce poverty. At Carolina's hotel called Arbol de Fuego, or Fire Tree, the USAID program provided an environmental audit and identified 18 ways, big and small, she could reduce her bills for both electricity and water. On the roof, simply covering the air conditioning units now keeps them cooler, so they operate more efficiently. The hotel installed a solar water heater. That alone cut electricity bills by 20%. There are no more tablecloths, which require daily cycles through washers and dryers. Now it's glass tables and simple placemats. In the showers, water use was reduced by two-thirds without reducing pressure by adding a simple $1 flow restrictor. Instead of buying bottled water, the hotel began offering its own filtered water. That saved 4,500 plastic bottles a year, an immediate tangible benefit to the environment and the bottom line. What we are doing is showing people a better way, a way to do more with less. The results were significant. In just two years, energy consumption in the hotel dropped 47%. And the savings? In peak consumption months, electricity bills plummeted from $1,150 a month to a low of just 315 If we wouldn't have had this project, we wouldn't have stayed in business because we didn't know how to do it. With a growing reputation as a green hotel, more people are checking in. Kristen Hotved heard about this place 6,000 miles away, back home in Norway. It shows to other businesses that it is possible to be both environmentally friendly and successful. For Carolina, this victory is especially sweet. Well, personally, it means a lot. I'm very proud. It's also a self-esteem issue, you know? <laughs> you feel like, wow, it works, I did it, we did it. It was a dream. It was a dream come true. 